a very strange thing happened like really the strangest thing ever coming to bombay i i had like a big shock because i thought this was a very cool city oh beta ghar ka ghar ka khana kon bana du main khana bana ke liye kabhi because i didn't even know how to start looking for an astrophysicist who am i going to call <laughs> nasa isro yeah, so you are just like okay so this doesn't work out for me but the one in the parallel universe it worked out for her she's doing it oh, she's, she's doing it oh okay. yeah oh, okay chal raha hai ha bahut apni chal raha hai that you are like a, a you're like priyanka chopra uh but mm-hmm. not many people know about it hey, you know the immigration guy asked me if i was latvian he said why is a latvian name yes actually there is a legendary story about a woman named maya i don't know what is with you and film festivals <laughs> maya you always there you know you film festival la 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 person Oh thank you so much and yeah I really wish we were having this interview in person you know so, so we know that you are not from the film background that no and you not still managed to uh, you know made a place in in Bollywood mm-hmm. in in that industry how did that happen uh, I just followed my heart uh, and none of this was a plan uh, you know what I was Four or five years old. You know how little kids when they go to anyone's house mm-hmm. in India. You know how ambitious your parents are. You have to have your career goals in place then. Yeah. Right. What do you want to become when so, you grow up? Right. <laughs> I would go and tell everyone I want to be Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Wow. Yeah. I want to be Charlie Chaplin. So. <laughs> Like that's, this, that's, a weird, that's a weird ambition. मैं माधुरी दीक्षित बनना चाहती हूँ. You are like मैं चाली चापन बनना चाहती हूँ. So yeah, it's a weird ambition. But you know now, so I don't remember this. Of course, you know my mother told me that people used to come and tell us that your daughter is like something not right with that child. You know because. Who wants to put Charlie Chaplin? I don't know. Did you grow up in India? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, in Delhi. So, yeah. So Sunday, को सुबह आता था ना Charlie Chaplin. हाँ हाँ हाँ. दूरदर्शन पे. <laughs> दूरदर्शन पे. हाँ. Uh. I used to only wake up on Sundays for Charlie Chaplin. Like I was obsessed with him. I. So, and you know, it's really funny. Like now that I think about it, Charlie Chaplin was a writer, mm-hmm. producer, yeah. actor, director. So I'm like, I I never even planned it, but it's like as a child I had this thing I want to be Charlie Chaplin, and, and the, what I loved doing was reading novels. Even though I was a science student, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I would just like I would finish like a Nancy Drew or a Hardy Boy in like one day. Wow, you know, like that. Like I was a very good student, but uh, my parents were so worried. Like if she school se aati hai, toh ye novel padne lag jati hai. you know like <laughs> what what about studies <laughs> so eventually like of course science i did the t- till 12th standard and then uh, you know i realized that okay my uh, interest doesn't really lie here you know but i still didn't know what i wanted to do like acting or film industry was the furthest thing from my mind because i grew up in delhi i mean yeah. uh, nobody in my family had any connections like there was no one Right. Who, who I could follow, right. you know? I mean, Bombay and the film industry were like a whole other world, like an unreal world. Like, so um, you had to make your own footsteps. 
you you yeah but i'm just have any footsteps to follow you have to make your own exactly. footsteps yeah but i'm saying i was not even thinking of that like it never even crossed my mind hmm. uh but when it came to picking up co- a course in um, in uh, college i you know i was like okay now what to do now let us like we wasted enough time doing science which heart wasn't in it yeah so uh then i figured that english honors all you have to do is read 12 novels in a year wow that's a dream <laughs> this, is, this is this is tailor made for me yeah. <laughs> okay well novels i finish in a day in a day <laughs> in 12 days i will be done with the whole curriculum in 12 days and i have party um, right after that oh, i uh, started working you know uh advertising agency as a copywriter Pradeep, director pradeep sarkar came to the office and he was he used to make commercials for um, you know like i mean he's also a, a film director but you know all film directors also make commercials so i just went up to him and i said that i want to work with you he hired me and i started assisting him and then you know we they put me in a couple of ads because whatever you know the model there was there was not enough money or there was no model available this and that and then i got an offer uh, and then i started getting offers from outside you know for a lot of music videos for other oh. uh, like this pankaj dad music ghungat ko mat khol ke gori ghungat hai anmo Finally, I got this first show, Sara Akash. Hmm. Right. Yeah. I remember so that. So now it was like a serious commitment. Like now I commit to acting. What was what was your parents' reaction when you you know went into that field? Or probably initially they thought that this is a time pass thing, or she's just exploring things. But when you got into acting, when you got into a serious hmm. you know serial, Sara Akash, it became yeah. out of a sudden a very serious yeah. your career. Yeah. So what was yeah. your parents reaction? Oh, uh, you know my parents always supported me in everything that I did. You yeah. know, so it was never like I mean they were just like do what your heart tells you and give it your best. Okay. Coming to Bombay, I I had like a big shock because I thought this was a very cool city and I was sharing this apartment with this g- and we were living in Pali Hill Bandra because you know my parents were one thing was there they were like We don't care whether you save any money or not, but because you're going to be staying with two girls, you know, there was another girl. She was a model from Delhi. They were like, you all should live in a good area at least, yeah, right. you know, mm-hmm. like so for safety reasons. Yeah. So uh, and this is like we're living in Pali Hill, you know, it's like most one of the most sought after things. And I remember, like this girl, like I said, she was a model and I was an actor, and we would come home. at all odd hours you know because sometimes you're shooting two to two shifts so you're coming home at 3 4 in the morning right. and on a tuesday or a wednesday not like you went partying on a weekend and coming yeah <laughs> and so one day there was a circular that went around in the building which said character of girls in a residing in apartment 32 is suspicious wow what are you saying <laughs> yeah <laughs> Which year was that? This was a uh, 2004. Wow, new millennium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, I, and the circular also came to us because it was a printed thing. It went. Yeah. Everybody. I was just like, this is like, I don't even know how to react to this. I was like, we leave it to the landlord. We are not going to react to this. And literally the next day, the next week. you know a uh, sara akash holdings went up all over the city and then suddenly all these people were like suddenly my best friends you know like these aunties would meet me in the lift and be like oh bitcha ghar ka ghar ka khana kon banati hai main khana banati hai kabhi to dil karta hoga ghar ka khana khane ke liye ghar aa jaye khana just like people are so weird <laughs> anyway so yeah from there like acting pretty much Stop. became the forte and uh, yeah then there was hotel kingston and then the big film break came with uh, john and nagesh you know ashaye ni baaki zindagi bhi mujhe bardash karogi teen crore you have come manage it here 
कभी फैसला हम करते हैं और कभी हमारे लिए किए जाते हैं मैंने पूछा कहा था तो इतने दिन then uh, lihaz was something i co-wrote with the director actually rahat came to me with the film he wanted to make uh, lihaz the story but it's a short story saman adalat ka bulawa lai dikhai aapko nahi de sakta to phir saman kiske liye ismat chup tai bulaiyo ismat you know and then he was like we can combine three short stories of ismat and make it and i was just like so When I started reading up on it, there was so much more, you know, to that because when Isma Chupte wrote that story in 1940, she got charged with obscenity. It's something. It's something similar on the on the line of Manto, I think. Manto uh, used to have yeah. same life, you know. Yes, yes. So they do the same. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then we got uh, you know the Oscar-winning producer of No Man's Land. Mm. Uh, Mark Bishet to produce it, mm. so it just all worked out, you know. So uh, it was great. This then I had one year of no acting work, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, <clears throat> that's when I uh, thought of writing this book. So this idea had been in my head for a very long time, you know. Yeah. This uh, whole thing of parallel universes and um and you know astral projection is something i'd heard of you know which i thought was very exciting and we are talking about your book i'm i'm stopping you here sona because this is one place where we connected yes i saw uh, your facebook post and it said um very precisely what if there is another you who is living all your dreams so yeah. this sentence actually gave me goosebumps because this is one thing which i've been uh, thinking for a very long time and there is another person i don't know about who who has written a book over it so yeah. it's such a um, i don't know that the feeling is unexplainable um yeah suddenly i just wrote it down to you as a common <laughs> friend uh they <laughs> i had this imagination i had this thought for a very long time and you responded and then again yeah. i bought this book this is an amazing yeah. book and Thank i'm not you. i'm not a reader like you but um hmm. i like collecting books um and hmm. i i always um you know in a search of good book and when yeah. i started this one um mm -hmm. i couldn't able to stop because this is yeah. this has <laughs> everything this has romance this has um you know science <laughs> um fiction everything and yeah. erotic also <laughs> so yeah yeah <laughs> it has all the flavors and it's yeah. very thin you can you really yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah so yeah go ahead this was my story of this book and like i said that you know this this idea had been my, in my head for years you know that uh, and I, i and you know i i would always keep reading stuff about uh parallel universes and everything and and then you know a very strange thing happened like really the strangest thing ever yeah um i was like planning to write this book and but you know i was just like i don't want to sound stupid where the science of course it's science fiction but science fiction is always rooted in science yes So um one day I get a call from my masi who's a um she's an artist uh, she lives in London and she said um a friend of hers who's an astrophysicist wow <laughs> is <laughs> is going to be in bombay yeah. for he's he's there at the tata research uh, Mm -hmm. uh center like he's taking some workshops for a week or something mm -hmm. and he has one day off uh on a sunday so if me and my husband can take him around for a little sightseeing mm -hmm. i was just like 
I can't believe this because I I was halfway through my book and I'd written this character who is an astrophysicist and, and I've never met an astrophysicist in my life. <laughs> so you know how you write for some time and then you're thinking like you're just going to come across as stupid because you're writing about someone who you have completely made up. You have never met yes. an astrophysicist mm-hmm. and you have made up an mm-hmm. astrophysicist. So this will never work because people will see through it, you know. And then it's like you know it's like that line you know, that when something is meant for you the whole universe conspires to make it happen right it's exactly that i mean i didn't even because i didn't even know how to start looking for an astrophysicist of to course. begin with of like course. who am i going to call <laughs> <laughs> nasa isro <Yeah>. hello <laughs> hello <laughs> so he was more than me he was excited to tell you things to like meet a civilian uh-huh. and that to a bollywood actress right who was interested in stuff like this yeah so you know so i actually had a 6 hour tuition from him wow like what is the hypothesis uh-huh. of how the parallel universe might work right because it is such a lovely thought mm-hmm. and it's a very empowering thought you know that line that what if there's another you living all your dreams so you're just like okay so this doesn't work out for me but the one in the parallel universe it worked out for her she's doing it oh, <laughs> she's doing it oh yeah okay chal raha hai wahan par woh bhi chal raha hai okay then what about um, manny because uh, this is an international uh, you know star cast and a crew everything so yeah. um if i'm if i'm saying this that you are like a, a you're like priyanka chopra uh, but mm-hmm. not many people know about it <laughs> they followed each other through new york mumbai and paris distance wasn't going to keep them apart good morning i'm manny how can i help you so uh, tell us more about manny Yeah. Okay, so Manny, uh so the director of Manny, she was in film school with me in New York. Okay. That's it to say. Okay. And um over the years I'm and I absolutely loved her work. And then I wrote the script for Manny. And uh it's again a sci-fi story. And I stopped the music. Okay, yeah. So again, we've kept a very global cast, like Manny, the main, uh, the title character, which is actually AI, uh, is British. I care for you, Maya. I love you. Manny, if this is a joke, I don't have time for it. Call Alex. Unlock the fucking phone. Two other primary characters: uh, Yuri Dakhnov, who's Russian, and Darta Danevicha, who's Latvian. Okay. So, so we get like a mix, you know. So, so we can even watch this movie. I want to see this movie. Yeah, it hasn't released yet. So oh. we just uh, we've gone to a few festivals. Yeah. Um, and the run has been very good so far. Okay. And uh, we, so yeah, so I think in the next uh, three four months, I think we should be able to be on some OTT. Okay. You know. Know, what so. is with you and film festivals i don't understand when i see your facebook post you are either on a us film festival or italy film festival <laughs> london film festival. i don't know what is with you and film festivals why are you always there in <laughs> every film festival you know? Yeah, I have been so lucky that so many of my films have been to these various festivals and you know why I love yeah, at Cannes. You were there at Cannes. Yes, yes, yeah. You know what I love there is also the energy that every mostly the films that go to film festivals are all independent films made by independent producers. So they're not really big Hollywood I mean Cannes of course has those big Hollywood films but mostly every festival will have one or two big Hollywood films but the rest are all independent films from all over the world okay. so the energy there you know you meet all these like minded people mm. you know all people who's who basically work on the love for cinema i would say cinema is my passion and i'm just grateful that you know i mean i might you know 
might not be a very known person or a very big face but i'm just like really grateful that i really got to do you're doing what, what i love. love to do you're doing yeah you know thank you so much sonal for talking to me taking out time it was fun 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 conversation you are incredible and i hope all the best for all your future assignments and uh, we could see more of your movies as an actor as a director as a screenplay writer whatever you choose <laughs> <laughs> come on otp platform <laughs> and we'll see again so i yeah. wish you all the best for your future <laughs> oh that's lovely no it was amazing talking to you and considering yeah i know we connected like a while ago yeah so <laughs> It's and we have so many common things, uh, you know, which yeah. we know about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. okay, so no, I don't uh, won't take much of your time. So thank you so much. Mm-hmm. And thank you. It's funny how you humans don't trust the people closest to you. Yet your phone is a graveyard of buried secrets. Everything all right, princess.